Okay, we have fourth degree polynomial to solve uh, for x. And uh, there's a link over here. Um, if you want to click on that, uh, that link right there, it'll bring you to somebody else solving it. Of course, I'm going to do the whiteboard and solve the problem. We do that now. And certainly, if you watch that guy's video, my video, there's certainly uh, a good deal of difference in what we're doing. But anyway, let's go through this. <coughs> I'll write it down. It's x plus 1 to the fourth power, and then plus x plus 2 to the fourth power is equal to 1. The first thing I would do is I would probably try to get this thing to be factored. And a way to do that is to subtract something from both sides so I can see a difference of perfect squares. So I'm going to say x plus 2 to the fourth power is going to equal to 1 minus x plus 1 to the fourth power. And this is a difference of perfect squares. So it's going to be 1 minus x plus 1 squared, 1 plus x plus 1 squared. All right? Now, I'm looking at the, uh, the first one. It's also a difference of perfect squares. So it's going to be 1 minus x plus 1 times 1 plus x plus 1. Now, what do you get there? You get another thing that's not going to factor that. It, it, it certainly, you could factor using complex numbers, but I'm not going to do that. All right? So what do you get? First factor, that's going to give you, uh, let's see, 1 minus x minus 1, which is minus x. The next guy looking at that, that's going to be x plus 2. And then what do you get? You get 1 plus I'm going to multiply that out now. It's going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. All right, what is that equal to? x plus 2 to the fourth power. Well, I see one solution right now, and the solution I see is x equals minus 2. And why is that? All sides would be equal to 0. So this side would be equal to 0, that side would be equal to 0. So now, if this is a solution problem, I'm going to be safe in uh, just dividing it away. And what do you get? x plus 2 cubed equals minus x, that's right there, and then you get x squared plus 2x plus 2. All right, this, this, this equation is a lot easier for you to solve now. It's cubic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, um, certainly expand it, and you get, let's see, x cubed. I'm using the binomial theorem, so I'm doing something like this over here. That's a 3. All right, so plus, that's going to be 3x squared times 2, plus 3x times 2 squared, plus 2 cubed. On the other side, what do you get? You get minus x cubed, minus 2x squared, minus 2x. All right? Going to still work on that. What do you get here? x cubed, plus x cubed, which is 2x cubed. This is going to be 6x squared plus 2x squared is 8x squared. Then we get, let's see, that's going to be 12x, 14x now. And then 2 cubed is 8, and that equals 0. Next thing I do is, it's a third degree polynomial now. I've already found one solution, by the way. I expect to see three more. What do you do now? Divide both sides by 2. What do you get? x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, looking at this over here, I, I would, you know, basically say it's a third-degree polynomial. I'm going to use the rational root theorem. And the possible roots are going to be plus or minus the factors of 4, which would be 1, 2, and 4. And the factors of the, the coefficient of the x group, just 1. And then you start, th you start thinking about it. And I'm looking at this thing. The first thing I would say, it, it looks like x equals minus 1 is a root to the problem. Let me just verify that. What do you get? You get minus 1. Then you're going to get, let's see, plus 4, minus 7, plus 4. And that does uh, equal 0, by the way. 4 plus 4 is 8. Minus 1 minus 7 is 0. So now I know that there's another factor over here. And the factor, by the way, it's a root, or another root. We got this root now. We got that root. There's two more to go, all right? So what I do is I notice a factor of x plus 1. I just don't know what the remaining quadratic is, all right? Because I'm going to say... Something to do with x squared, and you can do this many ways. You can do it by uh, equating coefficients or um, uh, by long division. And what would have to be? It would have to be 4 over here. I'm going to say plus. But I don't know this middle term over here. 
Now, granted, what I want to do is I want to do long division. So it's going to be x plus 1 divide into x squared. No, sorry, not x squared. x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x plus 4. Should be relatively simple to do. What do you get there? I'm going to say x squared. That gives you x cubed uh, plus x squared. Subtract 3x squared plus 7x plus 4 plus 3x. That's going to be 3x squared plus, uh, let's see, 3x. Subtract, you get 4x plus 4, and you get plus 1. So I know this middle term over here. I get my eraser out, and I'm going to erase that now. That middle term is just plus 3x. Uh, let's look at that. And I don't see a way to factor that. I can use quadratic formula, all right? So I know the root of this thing is minus 1. I got this. I don't know the root of that by looking at it. It's not a th the finger number problem. So I'm going to say x equals. It's going to be 2 minus 3. I'm using quadratic formula, plus or minus. And that's going to be 9 minus 4 times 1 times 4, which is 16. I'm going to keep plowing through that. And I get minus 3, plus or minus. That's going to be minus 7. So I'm going to get root 7i all over 2. I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to factor out the minus sign. So it's minus, let me get 3, minus plus root 7i over 2. I know the other two. There's four, all right? Let's just review that with you. There's four solutions to this equation. I got this one over here, which is minus 2. Um, I got another one. I got minus 1. That's another root of the equation. And then last but not least, we use the quadratic formula, and we found these are the other two roots. So we, have, we found all four roots, uh, two real, two complex. Thank you.